Ah, uh, Castle Sweet Castle. You know, this is the episode that addressed a good possibility, that Twilight may not have liked living in such a big empty castle instead of her old home. This is contrary to the popular belief that living in a castle is amazing, or what you would call living the good life. It suggests that this life isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Focusing on that in this episode was a great decision made by the writers. But enough of that, let's get on with the challenges. Number 1. Redecorate EVERYTHING! Make a new OC and use it in your review instead of your main one. Or make a new background and use it in your review instead of the one you usually have. Or both. Number 2. Ah, the memories. You know, I remember when I first got into analysis. I wasn't so good of quality at first, but I got better over time. And I still remember having some good moments. What were some of your good moments in analysis? Number 3. So halfway through the episode, we have Spike stalling Twilight to prevent her from going back to the castle while the rest of the main six decorate it. And some of the things he does to distract her are... okay, I guess? But by the end, it gets kind of ridiculous and we're like, why is Twilight still falling for this? Shouldn't she have caught on by now? This is the kind of stuff we'd expect Spike to fall for. In fact, what if it was Twilight stalling Spike? Come up with a scenario regarding Twilight stalling Spike from... something, I don't know. It could be about anything, but you'll get more points if it's relative to this episode. Number 4. Still on the topic of Spike stalling Twilight, let's pretend he kept going. For how long do you think he could have kept this up? What else would he have done? Do you think Twilight should have caught on even earlier than what was in the episode? Explain why. Number 5. You know what troubled me about this episode? The fact that it took the main five up until Act 3 to realize that they were decorating the house to suit themselves instead of Twilight. I mean, yeah, you could point out that they didn't live in the same house as her, but still, they should know enough about her to understand how her house should be decorated. Heck, they should have remembered what the Golden Oak Library was like and decorated the castle the same way. The fact that they didn't realize what they were doing wrong until the third act and how we had to wait that long? Are you serious? God, there's so much waiting in this episode. You gotta wait for Twilight to give up. You gotta wait for a character to stop talking. You gotta wait for the main five to say how we make for the 47th goddamn time. Wait for the main five to sing a song and then realize that they brought too much stuff in the castle. Wait for Twilight to bring her head up and try to say I'm awake. Wait for Spike to get up. How fucking long? Does it take to distract Twilight? You gotta get her from the castle, walk out, take her over to the spa, walk back, realize what a horrible job the main five are doing, go back to the spa, order a massage, walk out, tell her you want to take the scenic route, walk over to the Golden Oak Library, stop her from flying, tell her you want a bed, go over to the Sylvan and Quill Shop, wait for the main five to tell her you to keep her busy, pick whichever bed distracts her the longest, go back out, and walk all the way to where you want to be! In Castle Mania, you equip an organ, press a button, you're there! <sighs> What the fuck am I doing in my life? I'm harshly criticizing Castle Sweet Castle on the internet. I'm gonna get crucified! Rewrite the episode so that the main five realize this fact sooner than they did. Describe what happens in each act with close attention to detail and make sure to be specific. For those of you who feel that having this realization as late as it was rather than any earlier was necessary, describe your thoughts and give your reasons on why it was better to have it so late in the episode. Number 6. It's exactly what the castle needed. You know what, Twilight? Maybe you're wrong. Maybe there's something better you can decorate the castle with and you just don't know it. And maybe these analysts want to show you just what that is. But maybe some analysts don't think there's anything better. And in that case, maybe they should tell us why. Number 7. <sighs> Dear... Do your analysis while sleeping. Do your analysis while... Sleeping. In general, you should just be as tired as all hell. The more tired you are, the more points you'll win your war! Number 8. More stalling! Stay on a single topic for a fraction of your review. The more specific the topic, the better. Number 9. Oh look! There's a bit of each member of the main five in some parts of the castle. You know what that screams to me? Fire toys! But you know what? Maybe there's going to be some reason behind their existence. Some purpose they're going to serve in the show. I want you to tell us what you think that'll be. Number 10. You know, 
Thinking back to the season 4 finale, I had it in my head that they were going to make the Tree of Harmony overtake the ancient castle and fix it up to make it a castle for Twilight. And then it turned out that there's just going to be a whole new castle instead. I was wondering why they chose to do that and not use the ancient castle at all. Because there were episodes about fixing it up, and that made it feel like it was going to be used in the future. I don't think it's even been mentioned once in season 5 so far. What I want you to do is to tell us in your video what if the chest fixed up the ancient castle instead of making a whole new one at the end of season 4. How would this be different from the castle we have now? Would there somehow still be a map involved? How would season 5 be different? Would this episode still happen? Give us your thoughts. MLP Analysis Community, I challenge you. Do you accept?